Hi, I'm Dr. Allen from Jones Allen Hospital. Welcome to Vet Visits. Today we're going to talk about something that's seasonal and coming up here pretty soon, which is holidays with your pets. And holidays are a great time. Lots of food, lots of friends, lots of decorations, lots of things that are way fun and we all enjoy. And our pets enjoy them too. But there's some hazards that happen around the holidays that are potential dangers for your pets that we need to talk about just a little bit. Lots of folks will have um, poinsettias and potted plants and stuff around for decorations. Um, many of those, especially things like poinsettias, are potentially toxic um, if the dogs were to, or cats even sometimes were to chew on them. So be aware that some of the things you have around the house, you know, poinsettias, mistletoe comes to mind, are poisonous to our pets and need to keep them out of their reach. Um, you'd be surprised sometimes where a dog that's never chewed on anything sees that new poinsettia or a little mistletoe decorating and decides, hmm, I wonder if that's fun to chew on, and then you have a potentially toxic problem. Food in the holidays. Um, some people unfortunately show their love with food. Um, now that's fine if you're bringing it to your veterinarian or taking it to your friends, um, but showing your love with food for your pets is not always the best idea. Dogs don't mind boring diets. Feeding them the same thing day after day, week after week, year after year is a really good way to keep their digestive systems kind of settled and not have GI upsets, not have other problems. Giving them special treats during the holiday, especially things that have a lot of fat in them, um, can cause all sorts of problems from just something simple like vomiting or diarrhea to a potentially life-threatening problem like pancreatitis. So show your love with pets, um, love, sometimes appropriate pet treats, but don't share your holiday feast with, with your pets. Toys are something else. You know, dog toys are fine. You know, they're appropriate size, they're hopefully indestructible and not going to be chewed up into small pieces. Um, but sometimes the kids have lots of toys, new things with small parts. You know, dogs can swallow toys. I don't know how many Christmas holidays I've spent taking things out of dog stomachs that they thought were great to chew on because they found them new for the holidays. So try to keep small things away from them where they're not going to be chewing up little things and um, winding up with a gastric foreign body and having to have emergency surgery. You know, that's no fun for you and certainly no fun for your pet. Lots of people have friends and family come in and some dogs, especially those that have been well socialized, enjoy them. They enjoy the new people. They like to meet and greet just like everybody else. But some dogs don't. You know, some dogs become very anxious um, when you have a house full of people. Recognize that. Don't try to force the dog to interact in situations where it's uncomfortable. You know, if the dog's been crate trained, you know, put the dog's crate back in a, a quiet, dimly lit room and let them relax, enjoy their holidays in peace. Don't force them to be around lots of strange people. Um, not that your friends and relatives are necessarily strange, but just people they don't know. Also, if you know your dog isn't used to children, or isn't used to certain situations, be aware of that you know, and respect the people who come into your home and keep them safe too. You know, sometimes dogs do great with adults, but you know, kids moving around and kids are kind of spastic sometimes. I've had a bunch of them at my house um, and, and they're, they're loud and they move fast and they're sudden and sometimes those things are very anxiety producing for the dog. Um, at the least, they'll make them nervous. You know, at the worst, you may wind up with a friend or relative being bitten. So be kind of aware of what your dog likes and doesn't like, how they're likely to behave in holiday situations, and be appropriate. You know, if the dog enjoys company, great. The dog can enjoy it. If you know the dog doesn't, you know, put them back in a quiet, dimly lit place and let them relax in peace. There's even medications we'll put dogs on sometimes during the holidays just because of all the, the turmoil um, which keeps them upset. So sometimes you may need to talk with your veterinarian about some anti-anxiety medicine that you might put your pets on. So watch out for potential toxins, um, plants especially. Watch out for small toys that might be ingested and resulting in gastric foreign bodies. Watch out with overfeeding, um, which can range cause problems ranging from you know, GI upsets to pancreatitis or other more serious internal problems. Um, watch out for how the pets you know, interact or don't interact you know, with their friends and family as they come. Holidays are great. You know, the animals can enjoy them too. Just keep them safe. I'm Dr. Allen from Jones Adam Hospital. Thanks for watching Vet Visits.